We turn now to the latest on the coronavirus. San Diego County is reporting a 40% spike in cases in just the last week. This graphic shows you how many cases have been reported over that time. And ABC 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala is joining us now live with a closer look at why cases are suddenly resurging. Mimi. Yeah, Kimberly, Derek and doctors say this is what they predicted and it's similar to the surge around the same time last year. They also say the numbers are likely much higher given that fewer people are getting tested at sites like this one. San Diego County is reporting a whopping 40% increase in COVID-19 cases this week. 7,008 cases were reported between May 12th and May 18th, compared to the 4,996 reported the previous week. The county says group outbreaks have mainly been in close contact settings like schools and businesses. Dr. Christopher Longhurst with UC San Diego Health says the jump isn't much of a surprise. We've been monitoring the wastewater very carefully and the wastewater has been going up for a couple of weeks. And so we know that the wastewater predicts these cases two to three weeks in advance, and that's exactly what we're seeing. But he says the wastewater isn't specific enough to point out local hot spots. But we would imagine that the same areas that were at risk in previous surges are going to continue to be at risk with the new variant. Uh, areas that are less likely to be masked indoors, higher uh, rates of transmission. We know young people are uh, carrying this virus and bringing it home from school. That new variant, BA4, is called a variant of concern in Europe. San Diego County's Health and Human Services Agency says so far three cases of BA4 have been confirmed locally, with testing dates on April 18th, April 28th, and May 3rd. They say two of those people didn't have any travel history. The third is still under investigation. Dr. Longhurst says with fewer people using COVID testing sites like this one and instead turning to at home tests, the numbers are likely higher. We know that there's probably dozens, if not hundreds of these cases locally already. Just the fact that some of these cases have not had a travel history suggests it's already present in our community. He says the best thing we can do is mask up while in crowded indoor spaces or move plans outside. Outdoor transmission is exceedingly rare, even without masks, and so move those graduation parties outdoors. And Dr. Longhurst says the current vaccine is still effective when it comes to preventing severe disease and hospitalizations. We're in National City tonight. Mimi Alcala, ABC 10 News. You'll have to be vigilant. Thank you, Mimi. And Rady Children's Hospital says they're seeing a spike in the number of children testing positive for COVID. Dr. Mark Sawyer says that's why it's so important that even children who have been vaccinated get the booster, which is now available for children as young as five. We've been wanting to be able to add that extra layer of protection. Uh, I think by now people have come to understand that the vaccines, although they work very well, they, they don't work as well for Omicron as they had against previous versions of the virus. So you need to boost your immune response in order to stay protected. Sawyer says it's possible the vaccine will become available for children younger than five at some point next month. Script